Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bushido Gaming Channel with your host Kenji. Sorry about the late video guys, I've just not been feeling that great today. And, well, we're back playing Days Gone. Now some summing, we saw a gigantic horde that went through the caves and we talked to Mike about blowing it up. And I think now we're trying to get the stuff to blow it up, so let's keep it going. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, yeah. So, uh, how's it going? Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right. Cinnabar. He extracted mercury from Cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, Cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Guess we get to learn what happened to Sherman Camp. <clears throat> Mike, the place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right, that there is the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. Gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Okay. Well, wait. Why are we going to the preschool? Wasn't the freaks that took us out? <clears throat> Here. Oh shit! What the hell? In. The ammo was gone. Two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. The fight didn't last long. But it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. Some days. I wish the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here.
He didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you can you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo so hot for you. Cares how many die on either side. Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. This is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? No guess, yeah. Rippers. Well, are you expecting anyone? No. Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. No, no, just like randoms. Jesus, what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit no thanks no 
always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. <clears throat> oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Terry will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did to stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. Stand well, they in don't. The way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have Rippers aren't people anymore. They're not redeemable. They're, they're garbage. Kill them. I mean, they kidnap people, torture them until they either die or convert. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. It didn't look like no pacifist. That's, you know, what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. Make a tractors now? The car alarms, okay. Uh, hello. What's going on, Blair? Now that's an upgrade. Okay. <laughs> well, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your true sake in the hole. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Here to check out my shit? I'll fill her up. On Herod's birthday? What the fuck is Herod? Alright. Goddamn bike, you bitch! That's it. Okay, what were you saying? Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. 
Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost the link out. <laughs> Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Let me know when the yeah, I get it. Down. Okay. This time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. Okay, I think I'll place a tracker on that chopper. All clear. Go good here, guys. Just gotta clean it out. Perimeter's clear. Can't let them see me. Site check's complete. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Think you could stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas station. In case you didn't see it, the sign says gas low. But nah, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem, do you? It wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. You're always complaining. Let's hide this here dumpster. South of the Belknap crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, uh, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. What do they build? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. I mean, we never see them with wild animals. We build them. Trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. <laughs> Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready. About it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too. You know. It wasn't always a grunt. You know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not. 
not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her what she asked. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Okay, dumpsters. I notice I haven't came across any of those big guys anymore. Surely it's not just a one-off shoot kind of a guy. choice now that's an upgrade yep that's nice yep uh, you would come back soon. no let's see how he's doing Spirits are up at least. <laughs> you lay down. <clears throat> Make a smell. He can't have visitors just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? <laughs> Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like. Do, 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 do. As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. That's yeah, good. That's good. All right. Well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. Like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Unlocked a shotgun. Nice. Seems like he's uh, getting better. What's going on over here? Oh, music time. Nice. <clears throat> Called breakers. Okay. Okay, now what? Just radio him, damn it! The outpost is under attack! 
Sorry about that big old puppy wanted out the room. I just shoot you. Got there you. we go. Got a job for me. Yeah. Okay. Saint John out. What the hell's all these blue symbols? Ada Tucker to Deacon Saint John. Come in, Deke. You out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. See if I can uh, make time. Deacon out. Nice headshot. Got a lot of missions now. That was kind of random, just a random series of bombs. I mean, I'm not complaining, but whatever. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No. Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. No. Which way? Save him. Got a random gift from my brother? A pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh shit, there he is! Oh, there he is! Yo ass is grass! Come here, boy! Tell Ricky and Ellen to go to hell! And get the same Oh, you're not gonna get away! Oh, you ain't going nowhere, buddy. I died? Well, shit. Do I get my ammo back then? I can use those remote bombs to bring a horde where I want them and just blow them to Kingdom Come. 
It's actually such a good plan. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. All right. Where? There you are. Oh, shit. There he is. How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! I'm not even on you. Hey, hey, listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds. Maybe they'll just shoot you, you know. Instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, sue yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him. And uh, I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out. They don't have plenty to eat, won't they? Does he have the seeds on his bike? Please. No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. See you. A couple missions for every damn body, don't I? Lynch man. New items. Oh yeah, Shaka. Good one. Here you go. Yep, that's nice. Uh, yep. See you around. Looking to buy, Hope. Hey, how's life? Don't beat her up too bad. Later. You don't know what kind of job you got for. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah, there's a bunch of dead freaks. 
The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull him out and take him to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. Is someone getting pissed because I'm not being their mm -hmm. errand boy? Well, too fucking bad. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Did I just wanted less zombies to deal with on a regular basis? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. <clears throat> okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, and look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Pay attention to the Follow weather. the route that I marked on your map. There's <clears throat> water camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I uh I heard they nuked it. Portland? What? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? 
Yeah. So, uh, Q and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. <laughs> me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Joe. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You never <laughs> Fuck off. Anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is. We didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. I'm Your radio must be broken. Yeah. Almost sounded yeah. like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you okay. now, aren't I? Jesus. He just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got Ah, uh, great, another happened? train. Something I wonder if there's zombies hiding in it like last time. Happened. He didn't say anything? I don't like trains on this game. Whoa, whoa. No, nothing happened. Okay. No, Dead bodies I, hanging I from a bridge. Giant feeding like zone. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living Bonk. there. Got it. We need stop signs anyway. clear are you expecting trouble yeah always and if we run into any we're gone all right come on i want to check the outflow where are you going down here now here freakers oh no 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 Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing <clears throat> right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Maybe it's clogged up somewhere, or we got a downed line. What happened there? Oh. I didn't do it. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up. Keep the hordes from coming. That didn't do no good, did it? Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? How do you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. Alright, come on, I'm gonna check something out. No starting on won't be no newts. Come here, touch this. Come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stuff. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through yeah, the Yeah, at least I get to learn something new. ...concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. 
He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and... A dirty-ass shirt, but a clean pair of panties. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. That's gonna call a lot of freakers, I bet. <laughs> you feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, your dad and your brothers what happened I don't know on my way back I tried calling over and over I always got a busy signal by the time I reached the house it was deserted the entire neighborhood was deserted there were flyers everywhere evacuation orders I went to the closest refugee camp but it was overrun everyone was dead freaks were everywhere Jesus Ricky I'm, I'm real sorry yeah it was a long time ago These are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. No, God. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addy was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use his cap. Here, boost me up. Okay, okay got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. It looks like there's gonna be a nest down there. Oh God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Here they come! Ready.
Burn it down. We can make something out of this. Right, Tom? Ready. like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke. Go on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey. Hey. Come on. We gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Deke, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. It was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a You dip chicken down. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again?
How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? You can all just go straight to hell. Oh, yeah, nice. I think it's the last time. Jesus. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other is. Oh, great. They're on drugs. Uh, bath salts. <clears throat> that was becoming a thing before everything went down. That's right. Bath yeah, come salts. On. Let's see if they messed up our bikes. I think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Okay, there we go. All right, our bets. I'll turn up for today's episode. Days gone. We went to Sherman's camp. Learned what really happened. Got the transformers up and running. Well, mostly. And we had a giant Reaper ambush. So fun times. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button. And when you do, feel free to comment down below about what you think about the gameplay so far, how the story is going, or what's your favorite freaker so far. And if you want to help the channel grow, you can always do so by hitting that subscribe button. And when you do, be sure to hit the notification bell to keep updates on future videos just like this one. And as an update, <clears throat> starting tomorrow, we're preparing for vacation, so I won't be around. So tomorrow, I got to knock out 12 videos. That's going to be a doozy for me. Anyways, as always, see you guys on our next episode.